Welcome back everybody, it is Aspect Divine here, and we are back with Detroit Become Human. This is uh, my late, oh, my late evening, morning, early morning episode that I think has become a bit of a staple for the series and should continue, should continue to come through. Um, yeah, I haven't got too much to say other than I just want to keep playing, man. I'm fucking loving this shit. Let's go adjust the camera a little bit. Um, this might be a slightly shorter than usual. I might only do a chapter or two. I am actually a little bit tired. Anyway, I'll shut up. My crappy talk. Let's get into this. So yeah, this is a Marcus bit. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Oh, God. Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Love the soundtrack in this game, man. It's so good. <sighs> we'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to change. Shit. for you I'm okay thanks okay it's quite interesting how um that's right in front of the front reception of the police and also here they had the same model of Android as well so Just try to find a thing to ping onto.
I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Viva la restaurants. <laughs> uh, there's apparently another option I can do around here, though. I'm guessing maybe I have to come back through that or something. Oh, no, it's going to unlock now. Okay, cool. Be sneaky, motherfuckers. So, do do other deviants have the abilities to like awaken, for what a better word, androids? Because that's kind of what I'm doing, right? Thank you. 
fucking complex games of huh? Let's see what else we're gonna be doing. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. No, that's not any use to me, but... Oh. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit! Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Pause the stream there, guys, for a second. I, excuse me, I'll be right back.
I'm terribly sorry for that uh, break there, guys. I really, really need to go to the toilet. Alright, back to it. Oh, fuck me, I'm a bit tired. Such a pretty cool sequence, I'm not lie. Okay, clearly I don't want to go in there yet. Let's do this. Destroy the maintenance door lock. Ah, oh. thermite? No, just a bomb. is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Follow me. As I already said before. What are you doing? Call Central! Fast! That's right, baby. I said before, I'm making Marcus a fucking ruthless. 
for this fucking playthrough. Time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. Yeah, I see. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. Yeah, Josh had a big fan of mine, but uh, I don't know if Jericho is going to make it. We interrupt. 
interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. It looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. Found the bodies of two victims, a guard and one of our channel operators, <coughs> both apparently shot dead by the terrorists in what apparently seems to be a terrorist attack. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Boy, I got that public opinion down low as fuck. Let's go. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, this was a long ass chapter. Sounds straight. That's a side plot, so I'm guessing if so, yeah, okay. C could it have ended earlier? Yes. Yeah, okay, so it could have ended. Yeah, so I'm guessing if I fucked it up, it could have been called off. Ah, oh, we're back. The fucking. Where's Amanda? There she is. Connor, I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. That's right, Connor. We gotta do it. I mean, no matter. Oh, I want to say no matter the means, but if I'm trying to play you lawfully. Doesn't make progress soon. I may have to replace you. Here. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Okay, I'll run faster. Gotcha. It's right. <laughs> uh. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Oh, you took away my coin. Hi, Hank. <laughs> Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. 
something the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you take the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They knocked one out and shot the other in cold blood. My defense, he was reaching for the phone. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. Would have caused problems. One straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. Hey, can I examine any of these corpses? Yeah, I should be doing that, just following behind. How many people were working here? Just two Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberline. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. You should be off the case. No. Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck with my crap scene. <laughs> what a fucking prick. <laughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Can do. Alright, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Think that's RA9? Yeah, it sounds much say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Yeah, see, my theory was the mocks would be the bottom of our own line. Oh, I don't really want to. See right. All right, corner. its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Yeah, 
Sunsides in Disguise. It's kind of cool actually looking over a crime scene that I technically committed. signs of forced entry there are cameras in the hallway the staff would have seen what was happening why did they let him in maybe they didn't check the cameras we stored the station androids in the kitchen there's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Cheers. <laughs> Is that one of the ones that Marcus awakened? What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. yourself up maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you <laughs> why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down down the left pretty sure You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed!
stop it! Fuck the rest of the max priority. <laughs> Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd... Connor... Hank... <laughs> Connor, no... Man, I gotta save Hank! He's a fucking legend, he doesn't have to die. Does that mean I've lost Connor? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, okay, okay. I didn't even go to the roof. Shit! I want to go through another cycle then, see if Connor's still kicking. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Not sure if I like this bloke. He's a bit of a bit of a sneaky cat, you know. You you bit of trust him. No. We have to be careful. If it feels wrong, we get out fast, okay? I heard from our mistakes. Luther, get ready to fuck him up they piss us off. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam. Will you show them upstairs? Adam, that's you now. Okay, Adam. Prove your worth. Ooh. No. Okay, yeah, I gotta just take Rose. Not Rose, uh, Alice. He's... Oh, wait, what time is it? Oh, shit. We've been streaming for nearly an hour. Might not be able to do a full cycle about the corner, we'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure if I trust the other guy. The thing is, the last time I went into my house, we had that fucking Zarkov guy. But again, 
We got Luther out of the deal, and Luther's a fucking legend. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Why can't we just talk to each other? They too are not bad. Yeah, uh huh. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. Yo, Maybe that looks mad good. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Yo, me and Luther are not close, fuck yeah. Luther's a fucking legend. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. <laughs> uh, I fucking love Luther. Good bloke. Okay, let's head downstairs. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl. It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Um, I might not care. <laughs> All right, nine will save us. Let's let them be. Alice, what are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy.
It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Not seem to do too well. Can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down. Down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! That's right. Fuck that asshole. That's right, asshole. Fuck you. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard. Since his dad passed away. I don't particularly care to be completely honest. But he's a fine boy. Can I kill him? <laughs> I said Mark is through. See about getting you across the border tonight, okay? Yo, respect, fucking legend. Stay here. I won't be long. That's like life goal currently. What do we got today? World War 3, uh, it's been talked about, shut down, don't care that much. What's next? Well, let's uh, not let Alice see that. Okay, got a lot of stuff to have a look at. You know me. That's a lot of blue blood. Widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Uh, talking to him does not seem like a particularly good idea. <laughs> Tis the time of giving. The police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? Evidence of deviance, well... Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door! I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. I don't know what the last evidence bit is though. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm and just do what I say. Oh my god. There 
it's not spraying anything. Yeah. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. but we got rid of it. Journey without me. My man, I like Luther. He's a fucking legend. Oh no, man. Luther, don't die on me, man. Don't die on me. Luther! Man, I'm gonna kill that cop. you went to avoid that maybe different dialogue choices could avoid it I don't know man holy shit our broadcast is all over the news now humans know they took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's dare. enough! And now what are we going to do? Time to curse some mayhem. <laughs> oh, I'm going to burn these fuckers to the ground. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. Good, Jericho, no this fucking way. our people will remember. Josh is a count. We don't want to be with Josh. I 
I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, well, your model's got a bit of an upgrade. You look a lot different, no? Calm down, huh? No point rushing this. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> Sound any louder? There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Good call. Good call. That's our objective there. The store's over here. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Gotta build me army up. You are free. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Fuck yeah, dude. Like and box a lot more, you know, they're a painting little bitch. No, he's a fucking, he's a fucking, he's a cold, cold blooded killer. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. You see the alarm system? Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Which one do I cut? Okay.
Marcus, watch out. Decision to hide. Nice job, Marcus. Oh, companion, fuck yeah. Just further and further increasing North's trust of me. Oh my god. Uh, it's a surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Since the last one, then This is why the people follow me. Cause so I do shit. I hope it didn't have time to try to pass. We'll soon find out. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Nobody should bother us now. Good shit. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. What are we waiting for? Get 
But I don't all androids have these capabilities. I wonder what you'd do without me. Probably hold R2, find the object I need, then go do it myself. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, I'll hear the eye candy. Let me go. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. doing something fun. Vroom vroom! In me mom's car! <laughs> Same model as, um, yeah, her. No, are you okay? Let's get them out of here. You're like us now. Free. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom. And decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! With you. I'm with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? 
I'm gonna send the humans a message. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Slaves again. We're with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll help you. Simple choice.
Ah, nehmen wir den. Do this shit, Marcus.
They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Hey, man, my brothers and sisters, they will pay. You don't have to do this. No. Oh, you have a wife and family. Against an android shall go unpunished. This rap, motherfuckers. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. Property was damaged and fires continue to rage in several yeah, major well, districts public across opinion. the city. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the Cyber Life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Yeah, I just become this. a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Uh, I can tell us what you want. I tried to lead more peaceful than violent, but I guess a few of them. Yeah. Let's see. But my and Jericho, North Ukrainian, Josh is hostile, Simon is neutral, and public hate is still hatred. Yeah. Hey. This will be the last chapter we're playing tonight, by the way, guys. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. Oh, uh, yeah? I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. That's guaranteed D-rank loss, because I can't do anything. I heard Officer Miller was killed by deviants last night. My condolences, Lieutenant. I didn't know him very well, but he seemed like a good person. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. Just became a father three months ago. Yeah. Fuck, why'd it have to be him? He shot androids. He got killed for it. Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please come in. She's on the main screen. She's also I believe because there's, there's some videos. She was I think it's like the first this the first officially revealed android to the public. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Uh, 
Wait, 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 wait. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Yeah, I said um, Amanda was dead. Glad you will see you now. You lead, Hank. Mr. Kamsky. Just a moment, please. Um, you got a bit of an obsession with the uh, one specific android, don't you, bud? I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. Sorry about the name, by the way. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Just gonna beat the fuck out of it. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by Cyberlife. 
young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. And it? What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? You've done this before, haven't you, mate? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? To be completely so honest, mate. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. Sing That's out. enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the uh, Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Well, I am not shooting. As, no, Hank told me not to shoot. <laughs> Cyber life's last chance to save humanity. Is itself a deep I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. Actually, no. You saw a living being in this android. No, once again. Shoot, go ahead. See, no, I listen to Hank. Hank, I care about. Hank's a good bloke. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. There's a rock, cat. Me and Hank, we're done with you. By the way. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? Because you told me not to. I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. <laughs> That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> My objective is to be Hank's bud. That's it. That's all I care about. Fuck the rest of this game. Hank and I, you know, we're good blokes. Yeah, I'm capping the other one. I'm guessing the other one was Hank, was not very happy. Oh, okay, if you don't die in public enemy, yeah. You all, I'm guessing you drive there with Hank, whereas before, whereas instead I was just chilling there, ready to go. However, that is going to be the end, guys. That was long stream. I reckon we've been going for a good hour and a half, two hours drawing on. Well, it's a good, it's a good stream. Um, that was a good episode. Uh, we did a lot in it. We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering, are we friends? Yeah, sure. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean... I'm glad you said yes. You look like you've taken time to uh, evaluate. You wanna say something? Accessing the extras section. Good. 
What is new into our gallery? As we always do at the end of the stream, we have a look through it all. Oh, it's getting to peak, getting worse and worse. Uh, let's have a look. It's, uh, it's north, we got north. Oh, she has so much currency. Oh yeah, we're a creepy bloke as well, he's actually, he was kind of cool. Chloe. Yeah, yeah, I got sumo, it's the best one. Jesus fucking Christ. It's possible to have enough currency to buy them all, who's this? one here. I will love you and leave you and uh, peace out.